Hi, this is Frank with The Frank Opinion. Today's video is the second in a six-part series that I'm doing, which I've titled, The Failure to Enact Medicare for All is a Unique USA Failure. It's a unique American failure. In the first video, which I titled, The Political rope dope I talked about how study after study, independent study after independent study, going back to 1990, and particularly six major ones over the last six years, then by Lancet, Yale, PLOS, the Political Economy Research Institute, Dr. Gerald Friedman, and others, have indicated that Medicare for All, undeniably, is the best way to go for our country, medically, ethically, and financially. But here's the thing with the political rope dope which refers, of course, to Muhammad Ali's use of that technique in beating George Foreman in the Rumble in Manila in 1974. Poli political elected officials simply wait it out. They don't read these studies. They don't ask their staff to read them, to report back to them, to see what good may be in those studies that may support Medicare for All. Not, with, not when they're bought and sold by the en uh, enemies of a single-payer Medicare for All system for our country, which would be allowing our country to join the rest of the civilized moral world in terms of providing health care as a right for its citizens. Today's video, I'm labeling part two, in quotes, our poor benighted movement. That refers to the Medicare for All supposed movement. And the quote is part of a longer sentence that was made by a formidable, long-standing champion and leader in the Medicare for All movement. And the entire sentence, we had been exchanging calls and emails, said, and you can put the name of the organization in here, it doesn't matter whether you put in there National Nurses United, Our Revolution, Labor Campaign for Single Payer, really doesn't matter. Because the essence of this sentence remains the same. And I quote, said organization has been a strong and consistent supporter of Medicare for All. But the organization has not really taken off as a coherent and inclusive organization that could pull together all the loose strings of our poor, benighted movement. This is being said by someone thoroughly committed and involved in the Medicare for All movement that lamented the lack of cohesion, the lack of being able to understand power, the, the, the lack of unity within the so-called Medicare for All movement. Now, I want to highlight that briefly for you. There's a website that I'd like you to jot down this rather long web address, www.medicareforallresolutions.org forward slash endorsing hyphen organizations. Even if you put in your browser national organizations that endorse Medicare for All, this page will open up four to six pages of national, state, and local organizations that have officially endorsed Medicare for All. And the list is amazing. I started, and this goes back a year, counting all the individual memberships of these organizations, and they include National Nurses United, of course, Amalgamated Transit Union, American Federation of Teachers, American Federation of Government Employees, 3.2 million National Education Association, 400,000 United Auto Workers, and the list goes on and on. Six pages of organizations, and then of course you have state and local. So I've enumerated them here. There's 183 organizations that are on this pr list that you can print out. Of those, 75 are national in scope. 108 are state and local 
endorsing organizations. And of that 108, and there may be more, by the way, the list may have grown since this was put on, on the web, are 20 Our Revolution chapters. When I started trying to figure out and counting up all the members, I came up with, and I stopped, at 17 million individual citizens that are part of these organizations, all who have endorsed Medicare for All. It's an amazing number in proportion to the registered voters in the Democratic Party. Presumably that would be the party that would push for a Medicare for All, right? So here you have hundreds of organizations endorsing Medicare for All with research study after research study that endorses Medicare for All going back to 1990. And you have poll after poll which indicates that Americans, whether Democrat, Independent, or I believe now Republican, enthusiastically support a single-payer health care system for the United States. But there's no power here. I, this past uh, Tuesday, I believe it was, attended what was labeled an emergency town hall meeting to support 700 nurses that are striking for quite a long period of time, I think it's in excess of 100 days, at St. Vincent's Hospital in Westchester, Massachusetts. It is owned by Tenet uh, uh, Healthcare, which owns something like 600 hospital. Not your greatest employer. This was a call to action and for national solidarity in support of 700 nurses. When I was on the call, I think the most that I saw as participants was 164 people. 164 people on an emergency town hall meeting hosted by an, or by an organization that presumably has more than a million possible members, probably way more, in terms of who is involved in its coalition and they get 164 people on the call, they ask the action that they were supposed to take was to send a letter to their congressman asking for an investigation of tenant health in terms of how they used the COVID relief money that they received, which was, which was billions of dollars. And I asked myself, how is this in support of 700 nurses? What's the result? that we're hoping for with regard to this investigation. How long will the investigation take? Which congressperson or persons is going to lead the effort to force an investigation of tenant? How long will this take? For me, having been involved in this Medicare for All effort for six years and spent countless hours, and money. Um, it was a sad event. And I come to the conclusion here that elected officials, the enemies of a Medicare for All system, can sit back, have a beer, watch TV, and kind of smile and chuckle to themselves and say, is that all they've got? Is that all, all these organizations, national, state, and local, is that all they've got? Think about that. 